Hi, this is Phoenix for VisitThePlace.com, and today I've gone to Los Angeles to watch In the Heights at the Pantages Theater, and here with me is a special friend of mine. I'm Sean Taylor Corbett. How you doing, guys? Mm -hmm. He plays Sonny, and if you watch this performance, you'll see he's just one of the most amazing actors on stage. Thank you. I know. I just love the um, all the energy that you had. Like the whole entire ensemble, but to me, like you stuck out the most. And like oh, my brother is a, oh, new, right. is a new fan of yours because um, in this um, in this musical, actually, it's not your typical musical like Oklahoma or any typical um, musical. It's not even like Avenue Q. It's more something that t really touches you deep down, and um, it is something that I think everyone of all nationalities and backgrounds can relate to. Yeah, can you tell me a little bit more about it? Yeah, sure. It's um, It really is a story about home and mm -hmm. uh, family and yeah. uh, wherever you come from, whatever your background is, mm -hmm. you can identify with okay. it. It's, you know, very specifically, you know, a, a musical about this wonderful mm -hmm. Latino community in Washington Heights mm -hmm. centered around this bodega. Um, owner whose name is Usnavi and he mm -hmm. kind of takes care of the neighborhood. He's the narrator of the story. He rhymes, he raps, he sings, mm -hmm. you know, he kind of introduces you, introduces you to these characters. Mm -hmm. But because it's it's so Latino, mm -hmm. everyone can identify with it, whether you're from, mm -hmm. you know, the Philippines or mm -hmm. France or, uh, you know, anywhere, anywhere in the mm -hmm. United States. You remember your home, what it was like in your childhood to have all these people supporting you mm -hmm. and uh, taking care of you. and. Yeah, I'm like fun. even though I'm not Latino, like it really struck yeah. me to me because I think back when I would visit my uh, home in Taiwan, actually, and I think it rang really true to my parents who came to this country. I'm first generation, so they worked hard and supported me all my life. Yeah. And it also touched my brother, who is not a musical fan at all. Yeah, you're and, telling me yeah. that, and it's so cool that he mm -hmm. how did he, he identify with Sunny? He liked the he loved, yeah, he definitely loved Sunny, and, the, and yeah, all the energy in the rap. That's so cool. Yeah, and yeah. I love the energy. It's also in the just the dances themselves. Like I just oh, love man. Latin dances. Andy Blankenbuehler choreographed this, mm -hmm. and he did the most incredible job. I've never seen choreography mm -hmm. match lyrics and the story. You could mm -hmm. almost sometimes just watch the choreography and know the story if mm -hmm. you couldn't even hear the lyrics. Yeah. Um, but the, the combination of all the, mm -hmm. those things together makes it mm -hmm. something that's just not out there, you know? Yeah, I believe that, like, they say that music is a universal language, but I think dance is even more universal and international. I think, I feel like Andy would say that. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Andy would say that and, and uh, Lynn would, would say the other thing. He would uh -huh. say the lyrics. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the both of them together. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So... But did you, you know, you mentioned something about the um, the parents and mm -hmm. how people have to sacrifice to, yeah. to put their kids through uh, school mm -hmm. and, yeah. and you know, that's that's what the show is about too. Um, mm -hmm. It's about what different cultures and communities have to do mm -hmm. to get to that next level. And um, mm -hmm. uh, what what my mom and what my dad did for me to get uh -huh. me here. You know, you don't realize it until you're a little bit older, but, mm -hmm. but it, it's true of every culture and uh, exactly. that's why... That's why it's working. That's why this tour is working around the country. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I've heard that you've grew, grown up uh, in a theater environment. Yeah, How was that? yeah. Oh, it was wonderful. Yeah. My mom, Lynn Taylor Corbett, mm -hmm. um, pretty much since I was like five, took me around yeah. the world, took me to wow. Japan, to Hong Kong, to Germany, mm -hmm. and um, doing ballets, doing mm -hmm. uh, shows, musicals, plays. Uh -huh. And I grew up in the theater. I grew up in the, you know, I remember going to the tech of Swing on Broadway and yeah. Titanic and... Oh, wow. Just realizing I love these people and I love um, this community and I don't want to I don't want to do anything that would take me away from this. So right. it, it just as much as being on stage, mm -hmm. I love the support of the mm -hmm. acting community. So the message of this play carries on with you even out after you're off the stage, right? Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. And I always tell we have some new guys coming in because oh, yeah? I'm going to play Sunny mm -hmm. um, on July 23rd in, on Broadway. And the new Sonny that came coming in, uh, mm -hmm. he's uh, incredible. And um, he, I was telling him, you know, this show is going to change your life. Mm -hmm. You're going to help change the show mm -hmm. and make it better and strong, yeah. you know, with your energy. Mm -hmm. But it, it's also going to change your life and make right. your life better. And that's what it, mm -hmm. you have to let it do that. It's like the show evolves, but then you also evolve with it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's so really good as with I it. remember, you're part of the originally on original ensemble from the off-Broadway show? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, so yeah. you must have seen so much, so many changes. and So many changes mm -hmm. and um, just rolling with the show. I feel yeah, like right. it's my, it's it's something that I want to protect and, and, mm -hmm. and help support. You know, yeah. it's something so so close to my heart. It's not just another show. Right. That's just, which is why I've been with it for almost three years. It's mm -hmm. hard to leave and it's, I don't, yeah. you know, I know I will do other projects in the future. Mm -hmm. 
but I'm not sure if they can be this um, poignant and this special. Yeah. I hope they can. What sort of projects are you um, planning to tackle in the future, like when you do have to eventually? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm actually writing my own musical about, oh, wow. I have, I'm part Native American, right. Blackfoot Native mm -hmm. American, and I'm writing my own musical about mm -hmm. that now. Lynn manuel inspired me. He's oh, the creator wow. of the show, obviously, and mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm working on my own musical, and mm -hmm. uh, so I want to tackle that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I want to do, we're here in L.A., I wouldn't mind yeah. doing a few movies and TV shows. And <laughs> I did a kid's TV show called yeah, High Five. Yeah, High Five, uh, yeah, oh, I read about, about it. it. Oh, yeah, cool. it's like, yeah. I think it's great that you're just a role model to a bunch of people, like, not just, like, your peers, but to Thanks small children so and, like, people, like, out, like, within your community and outside your community. Yeah. I think that's very admirable. Thank you so much. Well, it's, mm -hmm. I always wanted to affect people's lives in some yeah. way. I didn't know I'd do it through acting, mm -hmm. but it's it's I've been lucky enough to do that. And with kids, mm -hmm. you know, if you start them at an early age, right. give them good messages, mm -hmm. um, then you have good adults and you have good mm -hmm. people. You know, if yeah, you don't, it, the results are horrible. So That's true. <laughs> you know? Uh-huh. But... Thank you, but thank you so much yeah, for thank you so much. for having me on the show mm -hmm. and interviewing me. And thank you for all your hard work and thank you. It's all with you and the rest of the crew. So thank you very much for this Thanks. small interview. Thanks, you guys. Right, see you later. Take care.